In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a wallpaper like this. And if you're wondering why my GIMP looks a little different, why it's all white and it uh, it's, doesn't look like it usually does, that's because I downloaded um, the new version of GIMP, the 2.6.7 version, um, because that fixed some bugs in it. So, um, And I haven't gotten my themes to work yet, so hopefully I'll get that to work so I can get my GIMP back to normal, or uh, not really used to seeing it like this. So, um, it doesn't really matter what picture you use, but if you'd like um, the picture that I used, here it is. I will leave a link in the description um, to this picture. So, go ahead and open up a new image. And now I'm just going to go ahead and paste in the image that I'm using. Um, now I'm going to, um, depending on your image, you might not need to do this, but I guess it really just depends on your image. I'm just going to grab a fuzzy brush and set my foreground color to black. I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm just going to kind of black out some of the surface area. But depending on your image, you might not need to do this. Okay, now you um, you might want to darken up the top just a little. And now once you have that done, make another new layer and get your bucket fill tool. And I'm just going to choose a kind of bluish color. Uh, here's the HTML notation. It's 00AEFF. And now I'm just going to fill in that whole layer with that color and then set this layer mode onto soft light. Then lower the opacity a little. I lowered the opacity down to around 56. Now make another new layer and now get your paintbrush tool and set the uh, brush to circle three. Now depending, um, now, now we're going to make like all those little lines around the car and I'm going to set my foreground color to this kind of turquoise bluish color. And now if you have a tablet, this would, that would definitely come in handy right now. Um, but if you don't, it's okay. You can, um, you can use your cursor for this. It's def it'll be a little harder. It might not look as smooth, but you can use your cursor. Or if you want, you can grab your pass tool and just, um, draw lots of paths to do this or um, yeah that's pretty much it um, but pretty much what I'm going to do is just draw a bunch of lines like that um, so I made like this kind of circular shape and I just went over that a few times I'm actually going to do that again okay now once you have one of those done go ahead and make another new layer and make sure you're doing each of these on a different layer. And I'm going to make another one. Then make another new layer. So once you have all your circles done, it should look something like this. Um, now you can go ahead and hide the top two layers of the blue circles. Now just right click on that layer and select add layer mask and make sure um, that the layer is the layer mask is on white full of uh, white yeah now you can go ahead and choose whatever brush you want to use uh, make sure you set your foreground color to black and we're going to erase some of these lines so that looks like the lines go behind the car and then come back out And now I'm pretty satisfied with that. And um, once you're done with that one, go ahead and repeat the same, uh, go ahead and repeat that step on the next few layers you have. You might have three like me, or if you wanted to, you could have added more than three layers. But just don't go too crazy with the lines.
And the reason we're using a layer mask instead of just erasing the lines is because in case you uh, kind of messed up or something, you can go back and it's and you can fix it just by like let's say I erased too much of this and like I erased all that and I just noticed it. Um, I can go back, set my foreground color to white, and just fix that. And there you go. So now you're almost done with your image. Now go ahead and merge together the three or your uh, blue lines layers. So now they should all be on one layer. Okay, now once you're done and you've merged together all these layers, go ahead and duplicate that layer by clicking this little icon at the bottom of your layers dialog. And now go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and I'm going to blur around 10. And now you get, uh, now your lines have this nice glow to them. And there you go, that's how you create this nice uh, wallpaper. And um, depending on your image, you might not need to put this um, one layer of blue that kind of makes everything look bluish. Um, but yeah, I hope this tutorial was informative. And um, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I just got one. It's twitter.com slash jxtutorials.